Hey guys, morning. You can see that the lights are still on here at South Bank because it's getting darker and darker. But, uh, well, it's winter. Anyway, I was thinking about Kool Aid when people talk about, you know, uh, buying into, like drinking too much Kool Aid and basically believing in your own BS. Um, and what some people in the King community called um, Castle Realm when you know you're the king of the mountain anything you say goes and whatever you tell people has got to be true now that's obviously not all true because you know over time things change new perspectives and whatnot what we mean about kool-aid and castle realm uh, and buying into your own bs there's so many people out there who will continue to say the same narrative over and over again and that becomes their reality. Um, now, there's a certain correlation with people who are actually determined and strive to improve life that they, they don't entertain uh, the thought of failure. Um, that the way they think is different. That's different from buying into your own BS. Uh, buying into your own BS, to me, is is into or going cast around is regardless of any sort of evidence to the contrary regardless of who you hurt you firmly believe your own bs and it's purely on a selfish level on that you know you inherently are uh lack i don't know confidence or you're insecure and and you buy into whatever it is that you have to tell yourself to make yourself feel better rather than you know, being so certain in yourself and, and what you strive for and believe in that that will, you know, get you focused on what you need to do to, you know, to achieve your goals. Um, morning! <laughs> Hope you have an awesome day too, Robert. Um, yeah, so definitely I think a lot of people these days are into buying their own BS and I guess this came into my mind because I was reading something this morning about people who have hurt others and they've you know, gone quiet so to speak for a certain amount of time and then they've resurfaced and there's some people who like or comment on like what they post on social media and other people can't believe that you know oh my god, what the hell, this person really hurt a lot of other people, why uh, Why do people still, you know, like or, or comment favourably to this person? And I said, well, because a lot of people, one, buy into their own BS, <laughs> and two, um, a lot of people just, uh, they're really busy and their lives don't revolve around, you know, um, well, they does revolve around the internet, these days but the the online what I call the online memory might be only about three months long so after three months <laughs> people are like well I don't know oh I've, I forgot I don't know I don't remember or it's all forgotten um, but I think a lot of it is also people buying their own BS and they just don't believe and they're so certain in, in, in what they uh, believe that they put out there that you know, other people believe it too. Morning, Lisa Marie. And one of the things is, you know, definitely good to look at yourself and differentiate on whether you're actually buying into your own BS or not, or you're having your own little castle realm moment, and uh, compare it to, you know, is this a purely selfish or uh, lack of confidence or insecure place that this belief is coming from? Or is this something that's different? Is this something that's more coming out of confidence and determination and revelation? So I'll leave that thought with you for today, maybe the week. Um, like, you know, is, is what you're telling yourself and others congruent or in line with who you are, who you want to be, um, and in and of yourself, your own confidence? Um, so that'll be that'll be something interesting on, on what you, you think of. 
And if you want to, journal it down. Journal it down. I did a thing on journaling before. Journal it down. And you can think about it later or go back to it later if you really want to. But get it out there. Think about it. Anyway, love you guys. Enjoy your week. And oh my God, so many public holidays during the first half of the year. <laughs> Bye.